Hi there, my name's Kate Van Hasseler and today we want to have uh, a bit of a look at the hormones involved in an IVF cycle so that you understand uh, why we're asking you to do uh, what we want you to do and when we want you to do it. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, uh, IVF is full of long words and lots of abbreviations, so let's try and break this down and see if we can make some more sense of it. Now what I want to start by doing is use a woman's normal menstrual cycle and if we understand the processes that are, that are involved in that, then we can apply that to an IVF cycle. So what I've got here is I've got a bit of a diagram so that will give uh, an illustration as to what I'm talking about. Now, don't worry too much about the details in the diagram, uh, but you'll get the gist of, of what I want to say. Now firstly, let's have a look. You can see there's a whole host of hormones here that are involved in generating a menstrual cycle in a woman once a month, uh, and specifically that of uh, ovulation or release of an egg in the hope of getting pregnant. Now if we look at the process and we start at the top, there's an area in the brain called the hypothalamus. And that hypothalamus secretes a hormone called gonadotropin-releasing hormone, or GNRH. Now, GNRH acts on another area of the brain called the pituitary. And the pituitary releases two hormones, follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH. Now, these two hormones act on the ovaries. So firstly, if we look at follicle-stimulating hormone, follicle-stimulating hormone is involved in the recruitment of one dominant follicle once a month, uh, for which there's going to be the release of the egg. And luteinizing hormone is involved in the process of actually ovulation uh, of that release uh, of that egg. Now, once we have a dominant follicle, the dominant follicle will then secrete estrogen. And estrogen has two roles. One is it feeds back actually up to the brain to suppress the release of those hormones. And the other is, is that it prepares the lining of the uterus or the, em uh, the endometrium for an embryo to implant. Now once we've had ovulation, what's left behind in the follicle turns into something called a corpus luteum. And that corpus luteum releases progesterone and progesterone has a role in maintaining the endometrium for implantation of an embryo. So now let's break that down and have a look at what we do in an IVF cycle. Now we've just said that follicle stimulating hormone is involved in the development of one follicle. So if we externally stimulate you with follicle stimulating hormone via subcutaneous injections, then we're after more than one follicle and hopefully a cohort. Now, once you've been taking these injections for several days, we add in another injection called G the GNRH. Now that comes in two forms, an agonist and an antagonist form. Don't worry too much about the details of that, they both actually end up working in the same way, which is to prevent ovulation. So we've started those two hormones, and then you're going to have some blood tests and some scans through that period of time, and predominantly what we're looking for is the growth of those follicles, because we know when they get to a certain size that the eggs within the follicles will be mature. Now, once we have uh, a mature egg, you're going to get a third injection, which is called a trigger injection. And that trigger injection gets your ovaries ready to release the eggs. And it's after that, that 36 hours later, you're going to be in one of our clinics and we're going to be harvesting the eggs from you. Now, if we're in an IVF cycle, then what we want to do post egg collection is to start you on some progesterone that's going to prepare the lining of the uterus for the embryo to implant uh, and generally that's a uterogestin pessary or there's some other varieties we can also use. And following there then we're going to place that embryo back into your uterus and as you know what we're hoping for uh, is that positive pregnancy test which would ultimately tell us that we've been successful in what we're doing. So I hope that that's made some sense today and uh, it's, it's broken down uh, the process of what these hormones involve. If you do have any further questions, then please contact us at Fertility Associates and we're happy to help you out. Hey, thanks for your time today and have a great day. See you later. Bye.